Hey guys, Chad Lachance, Fishful Thinker. I wanted to take a couple minutes to tell you why we choose the Ranger Z521L for our office on the water. And of course, if we're gonna start this conversation, we need to start it with the trailer, because what good is a boat if you can't get it somewhere? So let's talk about the Ranger trailer first and foremost. We step to the back of the trailer. First of all, you've got boat buckles right here that are built in. So I just push the button, pull it up, hook it to the back of the boat, click it a time or two, Bam, we've got the boat locked down on the trailer. We've got LED lighting right here, so we don't have to worry about the lights getting hot, and they'll last a very long time. There's a perfect match between this hull and this fender. That's because Ranger builds the trailer the same time they build the boat to ensure that the color matches no problem. We've got the dual axle trailer. Dual axles make sure that this trailer stays behind this truck no matter what. No matter how fast I want to go around the corners, it's a much safer way to go about it than a single axle trailer. Be all weight aside, it makes it track nice and straight. I've got dual disc brakes. Both axles have disc brakes on them guys, so this thing will stop as good as the truck. It also makes life easy on the truck because it's not trying to stop the weight of the boat the boat will stop itself. We've got the C-channel trailer and it's all coated in the road armor right here. So there's no chance of the trailer getting rock dings or rusting, things like that. This parking brake right here allows me to lock the brakes on the trailer and I don't even have to have chocks to have to park the trailer, which is fantastic. We've got the marine jack right in the middle of the trailer. So the thing's not gonna sway side to side at all. Really good because it folds down right in the middle of the trailer. And of course, we've got a breakaway tongue so that I can pull this pin right here, break the tongue away, and get my garage door to close. So overall, Ranger makes the best trailer in the business and they make it in the same factory that they make the boats at the same time. All right, so here on the back deck of the Ranger Z521L, first of all, you notice you got lots of room for your co-angler. And I don't have the seats in the boat, but the boat will come standard with a, with a seat right here, a folding seat, a full-on seat that matches these that will plug in right here. Of course, you got twin live wells with a divider in between them right there. Like all the rest of the compartments in the 5 Series boat, they're lighted as well, so you can see what's in there even in the dark. The twin drains and then an oxygenator system that'll pump oxygen on the fish as well as recirculate water. All the other compartments, the storage compartments here in the boat, you may notice have a uh, waterproof seal right here. Uh, this is a compression latch, so when I close this and fold it down, it will suck that lid down nice and tight and make it waterproof. Of course, each of these compartments also has a drain hole in the bottom of it, so in the event you put something in there wet or water does get in there with the compartment open, it will drain itself as well. So that's nice and handy. And if you come back to the bilge compartment right here and you open that, we've got a four bank charger on here, 15 amps per bank charge, all the batteries at the same time. There's a plate right here for the live well pumps and the bilge pumps underneath there. Very easy to service should you need to do that. And then one of the most handy features is the on-off charge switch right here. I can jump start this boat from my own trolling motor batteries with the flip of a switch or main power turn off so that the batteries don't die in a parking lot overnight or anything like that. When we look at the cockpit, first thing you notice is I have a tilt steering wheel right here. I've got a full instrument panel set up right here with the trim and the speedometer and the fuel and of course the jack plate gauge. I prefer to have the blinker style pro trim levers on both sides of the steering wheel right here. One for the jack plate, or excuse me, one for the trim, one for the jack plate. This way I can control the trim with my left or my right hand right here because as you might not realize is this is a foot throttle right here just like your car has and so by controlling the throttle from here, the trim from here, the jack plate from here and the steering right here, I have a good view of my sonar or GPS as the case might be and I can keep both hands on the wheel, stay planted and drive this boat like it was meant to be driven. So it gives me total control, total safety of the vessel, all very ergonomically correct right here. I've got the Evinrude Icon Series touch paddle right here so I can control the winterization, the level of power steering assist that I have right here. There's three levels of that. I can, with the touch of one button, go from a hand throttle to a foot throttle right here. So if I've got a long idle zone, I can put this thing in gear and idle out of here without having to man the throttle. And then when I get to the no wake buoys, I can turn that off and drive it with the foot throttle. That folds open and acts as a seat. That's an option on the Ranger boats. Normally they would come with a, a step that's a basically a glove compartment right here, or center console. I almost always have three people in the boat, so I get a step, but because it's a Ranger boat, you order it how you want it. This is where the work happens, guys. This is the good part of the boat. This is where we catch the fish, at least the guy that owns the boat. A uh, Couple of key things, first of all, 
I've got both port and starboard rod storage on this boat, and that doesn't sound like a big deal, but it is, and I'll tell you why. If you open this and look, I can put a whole pile of rods in here. I can easily get 20 rods in here, no problem. In my particular case, I put all my casting rods on the port side of the boat right there, and then I come over to here, and I put all of my spinning rods on the starboard side of the, of the boat. I've got a gigantic compartment right here that you can see where I've got most of the tackle stored, soft plastics at the very front of the boat to keep the balance and everything good. I've got my life jackets and throwables and things like that up there. Every void in this boat is foam injected with adhesive and expansive foam, which also acts as an insulator. This is the world's biggest cooler if you want to look at it like that. I've got a big cooler in here. I've got another cooler in here that you can use, but I don't need two coolers, so I use this one as a glove box for in the boat. You'll also notice I've got tool holders right here, so I can leave my tools out when I'm not towing the boat around. I can leave my, my tools out when I'm out on a, on a day of fishing, keep them handy, and even little details like my rulers sit right here so I can make sure I'm legal, my fish are legal at all times, and that stays in the boat. I use this compartment right here for my day box. You can see I was out on one specific lake looking for one specific species of fish and I have the baits I need for that. That's my day box, day in and day out. What I'm gonna use for that day stays in there that I know where it is all the time. So really efficient layout up here on the front deck of the boat. Look at this guys, tons of space. All kinds of space to stretch out. I mean, it's a huge front deck on this boat, gigantic and that's a really nice feature. I can strap my rods from here. If I got them on the deck, they're strapped on both sides. They're not gonna blow out. I've got twin pedestal holes for my bicycle style seats right here. So depending on how tall you are, you can reach your foot pedal, which of course is recessed to keep the strain off your lower back. Same as on the console of the boat, I've got the HDS 12 live unit right here. It's flush mounted. And then I've got controls for my accessories, my lighting, my interior and my navigation lights. Uh, my uh, live well controls and of course the trim on the boat so I don't ever have to leave the front deck of this boat for anything I need to do except drive the boat. You've got heavy duty carpet and padding up here so it's comfortable on your feet all the time. Very, very, very comfortable and efficient place to do work like catching fish one after the other. The boat itself is a little over eight feet wide and a little over 21 feet long. All kinds of space on the boat. It's extremely stable, yet extremely nimble. One of my favorite things about the 521L is the fact that it will carve a vicious turn. This boat will turn really, really well. When you get the right combination of jack plate and trim, this boat will turn really, really well. And it makes it a fun boat to drive. It's incredibly stable at any speed you're gonna drive it. Motivation for this Ranger Z521L bass boat right here is, of course, this Evinrude E-Tech G2 250HO outboard motor. That's a big mouthful of words, but it seems appropriate because it's got a whole big mouthful of performance as well. So let's start off with a 3.4 liter direct injected V6 two stroke. And people say, oh, two stroke, why do you want a two stroke? Oh man, oh man, why a two stroke? Here's why, it's light. It's efficient, it has fewer moving parts, it has less maintenance, it has better fuel economy, and most importantly, guys, monster torque. Over 600 pound-feet of torque in this motor, which is a ton more than anybody else. Very low emissions, very high fuel economy. So it's got a sight window inside here so you can see what the condition of your lower unit oil is rather than the old school, stick your finger in there and look at it. Overall, the G2 is a fantastic motor. We've been running them since they first came out and it is just a strong, versatile, flexible motor. Fun to drive in any situation you can drive it in. Of course, we mount it on a jack plate right here that will lift it vertically straight up and down up to six inches so that I can gain the most performance. And with this being a Ranger Z boat, you've got a substantial step in the hull, big pad right here, which makes a very stable surface for the boat to run at speed. And make no mistake, this boat's designed to run at speed. We've got a plug right here. This controls the plug of the boat to keep the water from getting in or out of the boat like a traditional drain plug, but I don't have to climb underneath there to run it or adjust it. Another thing is if I want to charge the batteries in here, I've got the cord that comes out, I've got a male end, plug the female end to the extension cord to it, and I'm charging all my batteries without ever having to do anything else in the boat. So that's a very slick deal. And speaking of slick, another key thing is these shallow water anchors you see right here next to me. And the shallow water anchors 
a couple different companies make them. You get whatever kind you want, but they're all heavy. And so the Z521L is designed for the fact that most people are gonna put shallow water anchors in the back of the boat. The hull is designed to handle the weight. The hull overall is designed to handle and be stable and perform at a very high level. And we have a great time driving this boat as well. I have background racing motorcycles and believe me, if it handles, I like it more. And this boat handles and runs like a champ. So if you want more information on the boat, go to rangerboats.com. Of course, you can go to Evanor and get information on, on the motor itself as well. And we recommend you go build your own at the custom shop online and see what you think. So we've run Ranger Boats since the very inception of Fishful Thinker Television and for several years prior as well. It's our office on the water every time and it will be for next year as well. So thanks for taking time to watch our tour. Check us out on social media at Fishful Thinker across all platforms or Ranger Boats as well.